The Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. The nameless is the beginning of heaven and earth. The named is the mother of ten thousand things. Ever desireless, one can see the mystery. Ever desiring, one sees the manifestations. Under heaven, all can see beauty as beauty, only because there is ugliness. All can know good as good, only because there is evil. Therefore the sage goes about doing nothing, teaching no talking. The ten thousand things rise and fall without cease, creating, yet not possessing, working, yet not taking credit. Work is done, then forgotten. Therefore, it lasts forever. This is my journey to freedom. I cashed out all my savings and started my path. Going to Psy Festival, alternative communities, on my way to buy or to get in some way a piece of land. A place where I can express my worldview, celebrate life, prepare for death and discover the unknown. I invite you to join me. You're free! Now that is, that is an interesting concept, a free man. It had really nothing to do with what you thought. It had to do with what you were. A free man, for example, was permitted as a distinction, as an indication that he was free. He was permitted to train his mind. But any art or craft which led to the improvement of consciousness could only be indulged in by a free man. Therefore, a liberal meant a liberated person. And as a reward of liberation, as a reward, he was entitled to be educated in such forms of knowledge as improved character. If for any reason a person became a free man. He might, by this circumstance alone, achieve to that which probably was the greatest thing in the world for him. He could become a thinker. The reason I started in Berlin is because uh, Germany is a very easy place to buy a car. Now there are two options. You can buy a vehicle with German blue plates or red export car plates. To have German blue plates, you need to have a residence address. This is the only thing you need to have. 
this is a sight of a nice couple and they're explaining step by step exactly what you need to do. This is a little bit out of date so google it to see if there are new things or new requirements. The best site to look for a car in Germany. You can buy a car and then you can buy a caravan or you can buy a van with furniture and sleeping options. I chose to buy a car and a caravan. This is my car, a station car. I don't have time now to look for a caravan and this is a nice option because you can lower the back seats and crash in, in case you don't have a friend around or the hostels are too expensive. Today I will sleep in my car my first night. Tomorrow morning I will get going crossing Europe. So good night for now. So someone tried to break in my car as I was sleeping in the evening, in the night, in the car. Uh, look, this is the glass. Mm, this is the window, broken window. Yes. What to do, what to do? It happens, it happens. I was sleeping right here. And uh, I was in the car. Yes, so... So yes, it happens. Mm. What to do? To fix. my way to a friend to rest a little and to fix the broken window Tal, a very good friend of mine, took me to see the nature around his town very nice place What would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? What do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? By training your mind, 
you can transform your dna better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way and after all if you do really like what you're doing it doesn't matter what it is you can eventually turn it uh, you could eventually become a master of it it's the only way to become a master of something to be really with it take time out to think about that and really go into it with your full strength of imagination and find out whether that's where you want to be had a wonderful time with Tal and his beautiful girlfriend after relaxing for a few days i was prepared to go on my way i was quite happy that i could continue and i had a new window Unfortunately, it didn't work. I guess garages all over the world are quite the same. So then, here's the drama. My metaphysics, let me be perfectly frank with you, are that there is the central self, you can call it God, you can call it anything you like. And it's all of us. It's playing all the parts of all beings whatsoever everywhere and anywhere and it's playing the game of hide and seek with itself it gets lost it gets involved in the farthest out adventures but in the end it always wakes up and comes back to itself by training you are mine and when you are ready to wake up you're going to wake up and if you're not ready you're going to stay pretending that you're just a little poor little me and uh, since you're all here and engaged in this sort of inquiry and listening to this sort of lecture i assume that you're all on the process of waking up or else you're teasing yourselves with some kind of <laughs> flirtation with waking up which you're not serious about but i assume you maybe you are not serious but sincere that you are ready to wake up In Zurich I came to see a friend, he lives in this magic artistic house. So, freedom for me, right now in my life, means time, having time time to be able to live life, to express life, whether it be with friends or by myself. Freedom in today's society, I find myself needing to work, needing to make sure I have enough money, needing to yeah, do the, the, the regular things and buy myself time to be able to be free. Um, whether it's traveling, vacation, these are moments where I, I experience some freedom. It's limited, it's, a, it's always just a, a window. If I decide to walk and I don't have a passport, I don't have anything, and I decide to just walk, I'm free, I'm a human being, I can just walk. Eventually I'm going to get to a point where someone's going to tell me, you cannot cross this line. You have to show me some papers, some passports, and 
I mean, in my life, of course, I have these papers and passports, but you realize that this person has an authority over you, be it a government official, a policeman, whoever it is. And that tells me, wait a second, you know, am I really free? And I think, I think if we're all truthful with ourselves, I don't think we are really free. Maybe in your country or in your, your society that you live in, you have some of these freedoms, but are we really free when we know that maybe our neighbors don't have this? I think for us to be truly free, we need, we need it to be universal. We need it to be global. There are moments in, there are moments in my life where, I'm, where I feel truly free. And these moments are beautiful and maybe it's more more internal I, I, I attend I love uh, Sci trans festivals and there's a, a platform for, for one to express yourself and even though it's it's artificial because it's a little island it's but it's it's manufactured by free thinkers and people who have a a consciousness and a feeling for creating a space where people can come together in peace and harmony and just live life and enjoy and dance and just let 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 it come out when we can live in a in a world one day where everybody is free to express themselves without hurting one another without hurting another being and and having time to enjoy life start growing our own food, take, take charge of our initial environment, decide for ourselves, like, I think we, people need to come together with the same mindset and realize, like, we don't need governments, we don't need, we don't need somebody else telling us how to be. We need to look at what's, what, what good's happening in our own lives and changing changing what we can and together we can like these little islands like these little festivals that 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 happen people coming together in harmony sharing caring there's abundance there's enough actually there's really enough on this planet even as bad as it looks and as bad as it seems there's if you really look at it there's still enough and there's still enough beautiful nature it's not too late to also allow the, the, the free people in this world, the ones who, who really express it and who are free, the crazy ones, you know, the ones we quickly like put down because inside we're a little bit jealous, you know, we should, we should support them and we should follow them maybe and we should say, yeah, go for it, you know, like, and not be, oh, mm, find like, something bad about this person because in the end we are nobody's perfect you know so we're all trying to find some freedom being f the only free person on this planet would pretty be pretty lonely actually <laughs> if everybody else is in chains and you're the only one who can walk around and you have to look around and see everybody else in chains I mean what kind of what kind of joy or freedom is that Let's help each other. Let's find freedom together. Let's try for it. Because it's out there. It's possible. We just have to realize it together. That's the key, I think. Went around Jose House. Zurich was amazing. Your need for acceptance can make you invisible in this world. Don't let anything stand in the way of the light that shines through this form. Risk being seen in all of your glory. Total mental, spiritual, and physical involvement. But even with that comes a feeling of divine dissatisfaction. Because ultimately, we are not the avatars we create. We are not the pictures on the film stock. We are the light that shines through. All else is just smoke and mirrors distracting, but not truly compelling. And if it doesn't happen for you right away, it's only because the universe is so busy fulfilling my order.
It's up to us to push the rules and laws and go from evolution to revolution. There are more connections in the human body than there are stars in the galaxy. We possess a gigantic network of information. Let's imagine for a few moments what our life would be like if we could access, let's say, 20% of our brain's capacity. This first stage would give us access to and control of our own body. Forty percent of our brain's capacity. You're insane. No. Insanity is being shit on, beat down, coasting through life in a miserable existence when you have a cage lion locked inside and the key to release it. Follow water and you will not be lost. I continued my journey without knowing this area. I went from one water source to another. Having a European GPS really helps. CERN Particle Accelerator in Switzerland. They have the biggest Shiva statue in the West, but uh, maybe next time the Alps are more interesting.
I met a friend, Jerome Sun Moon. Took me to his, to some nice places around, like a cave with hot springs inside. Couldn't film there, it was too dark, but it was amazing. And also, there's a town in the middle of the valley named Sion, or in English Zion. Surrounded by crystal embedded mountains and clear water all around. Was this the legendary Zion? I was left with a feeling of wonder. You got to keep on walking on the road to Zion, man. 
because I choose to live my life in the company of Gandhi and King. My concerns are global. I reject absolutely revenge, aggression, and retaliation. If you learn to distinguish between actual law, and there is only three ways to break the law, harm another human being, damage someone else's property, use fraud or mischief in your contracts, you have broken the law. That's the only way to break the law. If you distinguish between statutes and law, you're on your way. You need to distinguish between these. I was on my way to Madrid airport to pick the greatest man on this planet, my father. The foundation of such a method is love. See, political circumstances have forced us to camouflage ourselves. We look pretty much like everybody else. But an event like this brings us out of the woodwork. This is your community. This is your affinity group. We can create a language where we see what we mean. If we could see what we mean, we would have a kind of telepathy. History is leading toward the transformation of this planet in our lifetime. A cybernetic, biological, psychedelic being. The imagination is where we're all going to live. This is what psychedelics teach you. We're not gonna learn it from Der Spiegel, from Time Magazine. It doesn't come like that. Direct experience, your experience, your opinion, your feelings, your sexuality is the only real thing in your universe. Don't transfer loyalty to ideology, to money. All of these things are outside of the core of your reality and centuries of programming have been laid on to all of us to take away the power of our own direct experience. This is why psychedelics are illegal. They do not want people to take back their minds. Yeah. And we're going to take back our minds soon. Radical freedom doesn't mean giving somebody the vote. Radical freedom means the right to take over and control our own destiny and the destiny of this planet. Radical freedom means recovering our birthright. What would you think if somebody attempted to take your sexuality away from you? In the suppression of the psychedelic experience, the masters who make the rules have taken away a major slice of what it is to be a human being. This is intolerable. We have been robbed of our birthright by the frightened, the constipated, the narrow-minded, the stupid, and the afraid. Yeah. Take back your mind. Take back your mind. That's why this thing has potential world consequences, because an empowered individual in touch with their own existential core can do what that guy did with the 18 tanks. It was an idea that stopped the tanks, and it was an idea expressed but by one person taking a stand. Ideas are bulletproof. If you are right, you are a majority of one. The mushrooms once said to me, you must have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you will become part of somebody else's plan. Art's task is to save the soul of mankind. The foundation of such a method is love. Because if the artists who are self-selected for uh, being able to journey into the other, 
if the artist cannot find the way, then the way cannot be found. But what about the divine plan? Remember that? The divine plan. Long time ago, God made a divine plan. Gave it a lot of thought, decided it was a good plan, put it into practice. And for billions and billions of years, the divine plan has been doing just fine. cusp of an Aquarian age. We're living in a period of revelation. People now need to get extremely serious about this because you've had a campaign in the dark to gnaw away and slice away and hack away at the roots of our own culture, our civilization. To strengthen the immune system. The earth is intelligent. The earth knows what to do. The earth is living. The earth is intelligent and living and it knows what to get off of itself when it gets off it and do it in the right way. But we have to strengthen its immune system and we've lost the methodology of doing it. Each and every human being is a white blood corpuscle, a lymphite on the face of the earth. But if you're not doing your own rituals, if we've lost our traditional roots, every ritual that you do, no matter what it is, you must have in your mind that that ritual also involves the earth plane on which you live. Every ritual you do has no meaning unless you think that way. The dragon dances and the ghost dances of the Native American Indians, all the shamans of the world, when they do their rituals, they're doing that. Their work, harmonically through dances, is to strengthen the immune system of the earth. They become that, they become emissaries of the earth, which is why they wear animal headdresses. introduces everybody, no matter how weird, no matter how marginalized, no matter how peculiar, to the fact that there are others like you. There are others like you. Find the others. Make common cause. Uh, realize that uh, it's the deals you cut and the friends you make that determine where you're going to be standing when the flash hits. This is the portal. The secret is out. It is your long-awaited destiny to join us.